Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Entre new, entre new. Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. Welcome to, G- to the Giamatti Sode. It's the G Sode. <laughs> G- we, we found the G spot. Maybe. This is the G spot. You're in it right here, the Giamatti Zone. Mm-hmm. We're talking about Paul Giamatti. We're talking yeah, about we the holdovers, but yep. really we're talking about Paul Giamatti, yep. a man who I kind of feel like, look, he's been... He's been uh, nominated for awards. He's yeah. won awards. I think he won an Emmy for John Adams. He was nominated for an Oscar for Sideways. Maybe American, f- uh, American whatever. Fiction? Yeah, is that what it was called? Um, I'm not sure. Comic one. Uh, but, um, yeah. But I think that he's sort of one of our great guilty pleasure actors. Yeah, absolutely. Because he's someone that the world hasn't accepted yet. For how good he truly is yeah. and has been. Yeah. Giamatti has a, I mean, for, for one, he has a fun last name to say. Ugh. He has a good last name. Giamatti. Oh, my God. Giamatti. So easy, so simple. But I feel like every time you see Paul Giamatti in something, you're like, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. This guy is going to commit. He's going to fucking commit. He's going to give you a performance of a lifetime. It, I want to roll the tape back. To our Big Fat Liar episode, do not roll the tape back, just do it mentally. <laughs> I I remember being a wee little boy mm-hmm. and looking at his performance yeah. as Marty Wolf yeah. and saying, that man is going to win an Oscar someday. <laughs> he really. And I had that with zero irony. Like, I'm not kidding. I just think that it's it was a banger performance. Yeah. I saw the talent. Yeah. He's so unique. Yep. And, and I he does disgruntled. So well, he, yeah. You know, if you talk about the holdovers, yeah, which is as far from a guilty pleasures movie. I just yeah. wanted to watch it. It's a really good movie. <laughs> it's just it's fucking just good. Fucking fire. But he does grumpy so well, mm-hmm. but then heart. Yeah, I I wouldn't even even in this movie I wouldn't even call his performance like super grumpy. It was just like authoritative, authoritative. Is that the word? Yeah. Um, where it is, it is obviously um. A teacher losing grip with, I mean, his own life, it seems like, and not a fun, not a, like, aggressive, like, oh, I'm drunk kind of way. Just been like, I'm kind of stagnant. I'm kind of here. I haven't really moved from high school to where I'm at now. I'm at the same place. And it 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 is a performance of somebody who is just kind of there existing. Just kind of existing and good and getting like back talk from a kid that's younger than him. Like and it's 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 really weird um how well he can like toe the line between I need to be respected and not seem scary. You yeah. know? Like and I feel like that's like his level of disgruntled. This is a hybrid episode. We're gonna talk about the holdovers because yeah. uh the Paul Giamatti Oscar campaign is oh, yeah. Is it's roaring. A, yeah, it's going. It's going. It's yeah. going strong. I'm catching that wave, man. Oh yeah, I, I'm feeling it. Oh yeah, but I love that. Um, all, all amongst all of the Oscar buzz, there is just this one photo of him with a Golden Globe eating at In and Out in fucking so Westwood. Fucking good. I love that shit. And this I, is honestly okay. There's a lot of reasons why yeah. I think Paul Giamatti is going to win the Oscar. Mm. I think because The Holdovers as a movie just makes you feel fucking good. Yeah, it is. It's warm and fuzzy, yeah. and I I cried twice, and I yeah. felt good. That's the crying. best, the best Christmas feeling movie I've seen since like Home Alone. Yeah, it like harkens back to those times. <laughs> if we we real. haven't taken down our Christmas tree yet. Really? Because I'm, I'm lazy. Yeah, yeah, and I turned it on. Yeah, I I I, I, cl- I took plugged the lights in. Yeah. Turned everything else off. Yeah. Watched it at home. Great. Ugh, delightful. Phenomenal. I think he's going to win because the movie makes people feel good, right? Yeah. And people like watching stuff that makes them yeah. feel good. Uh, you know, it's a movie that's easy to love, and yeah. so you want to root for the actor. I think it's because his speeches and just like, you I just want to yeah. watch this man win. Yeah. It's nice to see Paul Giamatti be happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. makes me feel good. It makes me feel really nice. It makes me feel great. And also, I don't know how what was going on with the cockeye if he held it the entire movie, but you watch this movie, you watch the holdovers, and you're like, wait, does Paul Giamatti have a cockeye or no? And you're not sure. He doesn't, by the way. It is just... 
uh, oh. maybe a prosthetic or whatever, but he's it, it, if he's holding it the entire time, that type of dedication is what I need from a best actor. <laughs> it uh, so so the holdovers, uh, which is the new Alexander Payne movie starring Paul Giamatti. Yep. It takes place in I think 1969. It has a very 70s aesthetic. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a throwback film. You yeah. have a uh, a grumpy, disgruntled teacher who everyone hates, and over the Christmas break, he is tasked with watching the holdovers. Those are the students who don't have anywhere to go. You have Angus Tully, who Mr. Paul, Paul Giamatti calls Mr. Tully, right. uh, uh, as a you know a little uh, tough student going through stinker. a tough time, mm -hmm. uh, and he, through a series of events, becomes the only student holding over for the holiday season. Mm -hmm. uh, you also have the tremendous, tremendous... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> ...divine Joy Randolph the, uh, as, a, as a grieving mother. Yeah. The three of them as this unlikely trio. That's who I am, like, stunned by every time I see her on, on, on film, on camera. Like she, is, like, she was also in The Idol and was... She's so good in it. She that. was fantastic in it. Do you know she's, what else she's in? No. There's a little uh, voice acting gig in a movie called Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. What? No. Who was she in Puss in Boots? She was the crazy cat lady. What? Yeah. Fuck. I, I looked because after the, she is so good at this that after the movie, I just I dropped everything and I just looked up. I'm like, why? That's it. Haven't you been in everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think she's just she was on. She was in Broadway for a yeah, while. She was yeah. on Broadway for a while in Broadway. She was on Broadway for a while. And so, like, I feel like this is now her her way in. Um, much like like get um, that gold girl. Yeah, collect that statue. She's gotta. She's got. There's no fucking. I don't know others. Any other supporting actress that is on. No, I mean Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon is, I believe, going for best actress, actress. not supporting. Not supporting. And yeah. that like that's yeah. gonna. I um I when we <laughs> when I was when single drug female was still on the air, they they sent us um different scenes of drunk acting to show you like uh -huh. what is a good example of like great slurring and like somebody who got the vibe down yeah um uh what's my guy's name uh from sorry i gotta look this up really quick they, because they they always say that to act drunk well you have to pretend like you're not drunk, that you're not drunk which i've yeah. always been like what do you yeah. mean i'm yeah. not drunk right now but it's people who are drunk are trying their hardest to hold it together to hold it together and pretend that they aren't drunk um evan peters has held probably the i, I don't know i don't want to say the record but maybe he's held the crown for the best <laughs> drunk acting scene in mayor of east town uh. he is it, it's fucking it's heartbreaking and it's fucking phenomenal but after seeing Divine Joy Randolph in this movie doing drunk acting, I, she's got it. She's yeah. got it. This is the best drunk acting I've ever seen in my life. Drunk, dracting. Dracting. Drunk it's, the best, it's the best dracting I've ever dracting. seen. It sounds like Dracula acting. Dracting. But, but um, no, she was, the, the, there's a scene where she is um, listening to her, her recently deceased son's favorite songs at a party, and it's pretty <sighs> heartbreaking. And she just keeps on drinking and listening to these songs. And people are like, could you play something a little bit more upbeat? And she, the way that she goes <laughs> off on them is just it, like while holding a Boston accent. She's not from Boston, but she's got like this towny accent the whole time. And it's just so authentic and it feels good. And like to, to juggle all of those things, drunk, an accent, um, playing the scene well, that that in and of itself feels like uh, an Oscar worthy performance, in my opinion. She's so great. She's so good. Uh, Paul Giamatti. Paul, big time Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. He just like he has a face I want to look at. Yeah. His voice and it like his voice. He's a, yeah. He's got a good voice. Oh, I don't he's got it. Yeah, it's yeah. It's it's most of the things. It's You're his right. voice. There's this one yeah. scene, and I I've tried to to. Yeah emulate him and i can't my voice just can't do yeah. what he does yeah but he's talking about how he's telling the the kid uh uh that like you know mr. when tully. i was young mr tully i 
I believe it or not, Mr. Tully, I was a white-blooded teen once once upon a time, y- y- just y- like you. Yeah. And my sex sexual ecu- escapades. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he has a line where he goes, "It would make you curl your toes." <laughs> yeah. And then he's walking off camera, and like it's as he exits frame, he just goes, "Curl your toes," <laughs> <laughs> and it. I, I yeah. spit out my water. It yeah. made me giggle so hard yeah. that I, I couldn't watch the next scene. Right. And, Ma- and Maggie's like, what is wrong with you? I was just like, cut on your toes! <laughs> <laughs> I th- like, also, like, I don't... Whenever people recap scenes, I don't hear the person that well most <laughs> of the time. But I know the exact pitch yep. that he got to. I know the ex- like everything about his voice, the quality of his voice is just it's it's fucking phenomenal. It's and it's interesting that he is, you know, especially when you meet him in the movie in the beginning yeah. of it, he's doing some big acting. Yeah. Like, oftentimes you'll hear like, oh, the best actors are like so still, they don't even move their face. And like right. Ryan Gosling just like blinks and oh, you feel it so hard, right? right? Paul Giamatti's doing he's, a he's, lot. He's doing it. Yeah, he is, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, uh, he's a teacher. He's writing, you know, reading reviews for, or um, uh, tests from students, and he's just hum, 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 yeah. on a pipe, and he's going, uh, Philistines. Like, that yeah. is, like, goofy, yeah. heightened acting. He's, like, farting in bed. Yeah. He's, but I believe every second of, of it. Of course. Of course, because this is a crotchety, older man. Not even, like, old, but just, like, a little bit over the hill. And, uh, yeah, he, of course he farts and he has a disease that doesn't allow him to break down a protein that makes him smell like, like fish. fish or something like that. And, all, and it's like all of these layers keep getting pulled back from this person. And then it just, like Paul Giamatti, just he just takes it in stride, <laughs> you know? And it's just like a, the new reveal upon a new reveal upon another reveal. It it I don't know. It's almost like... He's been the character for, you know, for years or something like that. Yeah, and he is so good at tapping into yeah. this side of himself. Like, it's very clear to me that Paul Giamatti, he's a cool fucking dude. He's a cool We're guy. We're going to get into that in a yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he a bad man. Yeah, absolutely. He's cool. But he also understands hurt. Yeah. And heartbreak. Yeah. And what's so, you know, we keep calling this character crotchety because he is, he is. Yeah. Every teacher hates him. Every student hates yeah. him. He doesn't know how to connect with people. He only connects with history. So, you know, all he'll ever do yeah. is is talk about uh, uh, the the Greeks or or right. I, history things that I can't. And I'm sure Jonathan's editing this and like, you fucking fool. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know Mesopotamia, bro. Is Jonathan, is, is he a history buff? He's a history buff and he loves this movie. Oh, wow. Okay. And I feel like I'm failing him doubly right uh, now. I'm so sorry, Jonathan. Um, But there is... What you discover through the course of this movie is that he hurts because he's hurting. Yeah. He pushes yeah. because he's afraid. Right. And like any great wounded character, like he actually, he's a he's a hermit mm-hmm. who craves connection more than anything and just doesn't know how to get it. Yeah. And he's just, that, and he's alone for that reason. <laughs> and know. it's so beautiful to yeah. watch. There, There's a still of this movie. If you've seen... Photos from this movie. There's two. There's one with Paul Giamatti with his lazy eye, like pointing. There's one. There's one of him pointing and being like, ah, and you're yeah. like, oh, that's funny. Yeah. And then there's one of him at a, sitting on a couch, looking disappointed. Mm-hmm. And when I got to that scene and figured out what that was, why he was, yeah, the way that it shattered my heart yeah. into a million little pieces. Yeah. Paul, there's there's a there's a woman at the school, a teacher. They meet it out in the real world. They are vibing. Yeah. And when I tell you that Paul Giamatti got that Riz. Yeah, oh, he's, he's got oh, it. He can turn it on and off if he wants to. He doesn't oh, matter. Oh, Paul Giamatti got that charm. Yeah, he does. Oh, my goodness. When I tell you that my little proverbial panties melted right off. <laughs> when I tell you that I, I got the Tucci feels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It was all verbal wordplay. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. was smacking them lips. Mm-hmm. Talking that tongue. I I I feel like Tucci and Giamatti are like a two piece in a box. Imagine a dinner party. God. With them cooking you fucking ragu. Oh God. Yeah. That's, I'm I'm in. 
my all proverbial panties are on the floor as well. Can we can we just can we make this? Can we go for this? That Paul Giamatti's hot. I think we're ready. I think we're I think we're ready to talk about it. I think we're ready to say that this is like especially when you watch this movie and you're like, oh, this person is is purposefully grotesque, and then you see him accept awards for it. You're like, wait a second. You're a handsome man. You're a handsome <laughs> you're, little you're man. You're a handsome guy. Well, and the fact that he plays a grotesque uh, character, yeah. right? Yeah. But then is so charming. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you're beautiful right, on right, the right, inside. Right. right. And you know what? Maybe on the outside too. Yeah. <gasps> Marty Wolf Pictures, please hold. <laughs> yeah, I'll okay. hold. Today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. A common misconception about relationships is that they have to be easy or light or right, but sometimes, honestly, the best ones happen when both people put in the work to make them great. Therapy can be a great place to work through the challenges you face in all your relationships, whether with friends, work, your significant other, or anyone, honestly. Sometimes you just need a safe space to kind of talk through any problems or issues you might have, and honestly, therapy is the best way to do that. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Guilty Pleasures today to get 10% off of your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Guilty Pleasures. Yeah, I like so if we're looking at it, like different levels of crotchety or mean like he could have been Marty Wolf the whole time. He could have been his character from Billions. He could have been um what's he could have been the Rhino in um <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man. Like all of those people are angry, but I feel like this performance is a little bit more sated where yeah. it's just like I it's it's uh, it's way more beneath the surface. He is, I don't know how to connect with people. Yeah. And, and, oh, so, so, so and to the, this scene, you finally see yes, like, sorry. oh, he is risen all up, down, left, right, center. He goes to this party. They are vibing. And yeah. I, to a fault, anytime I'm in a movie, guy, girl, or guy, guy, or girl, girl, like when yeah. you see that look in their eyes, it's just the way that you shoot people. Yeah. Uh, film it's people. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just start, I, I go, kiss. Yeah, guess make out. You make a little smooch. Make out. Give them a little smooch. And I, I, I annoy Maggie, but I just, I'm like, no, they, but they have to kiss. Yeah, yeah. It's not because I. It's not for me. It's just. Yeah. It's what needs to happen. Yeah. I see you. I see your face. Yeah. I see your face. Right. You've been introduced. Now you must kiss. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not weird for that, right? No, 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 no. It, it just you we see. We all feel it. You see, it's just this is cinema. Yeah. If I see you, and I see you. Yeah. Kiss. Give me the fucking romance that I need. Give me I a deserve. little smooch. Because I even thought that there was going to be a romance between him and the Vines character. I, I was like, oh, cool, cool. I that was ready nice. for some smooch. Yeah, but you know, there was no smooch. There was no smooch. So Paul is sitting on the couch. He is having a great time, and then camera drifts up. She goes and greets what you realize is her boyfriend. They smooch. Yeah. Paul stares off into the distance, and it is. Uh, like it broke, that it sh- it was an incredible look of yeah. you saw decades of pain flood right back yeah yeah i think that that like that's one of the better better done scenes of that nature where you see it all the time that is that is like that is almost comedy 101 of like okay this person likes this girl but uh oh they have a boyfriend the way that i explained it is so trite right yeah. like you've seen that beat a million times all the times all, all all the fucking time but for whatever reason because of the context of this man trying to connect with somebody finally connecting with somebody and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just pure, pure context. Like all of this stuff. And you're like, fuck yes. Finally, he's meeting a person. We've got Tully downstairs meeting a girl. And we're like, all right, cool. Now this is like our boys getting some action a little bit. <laughs> and like, it's almost like this movie does it time and time again to this character to remind you of what the movie is about. It's just like, yeah, this these are this guy is this kid is left behind, but he is left behind with somebody who is actively in pain and is pretending like he's not in pain. And it is 
all over his fucking performance because even when he's on the couch that entire scene he's just or that that entire beat he's just like okay i gotta keep it together for the youth you know like or like i I gotta keep it together because i'm in i'm in i'm in in public i'm at a party i'm i am this um this i don't prestigious professor that needs to be able to put on airs whatever and it you see like the little cracks you know you see like the, the 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 look down and all of that stuff it's just read so well on his face it's it's fucking insane it's it's such good acting he's a he was a laughing stock. I want to. I want to say not a laughing stock. Like Paul, I'm talking about Paul Giamatti now. But I feel like the way he was cast, um, he was begging for this amount of meat on the bone as, as far as like Paul acting. Paul Giamatti is a leading man. He's a leading and man. It's about goddamn time we treat him as such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a leading man for sure. And think about his career and how he has been relegated. And, yeah. and again, he has had some incredible like. Sideways nominated for an Oscar. Why am I blanking on uh, the the comic book movie? Is it? And I'm not talking about Sin City. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's the one. It's American. He. Uh, it's like he he played a writer. American Splendor. American Splendor. What is? Great fucking is movie. That? It's um. It's about uh, Harvey P. Carr. Okay. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, I like it. He's also really good in um Straight Outta Compton, but that that doesn't. That doesn't matter right now. There's a really small role, but yeah. I mean, I'm looking. I'm looking at his early roles. Yeah, I mean, he was uh, pig vomit in Private Parts, um, who was like the hated character. There's something about Giamatti where just the movies that are made don't put him in the center. Yeah. He's always around he's the all, periphery. He's, he's a he's a really good character actor. He's a really good it it and what it feels like is is somebody who can really play their scene partner extremely well where he's not like gobbling up all of the scenery every time he acts or anything like that it's just like oh look it's the paul giamatti show sure when it's like just him he's killing it but every scene with him and tully it's just like oh these are two people walking down the street these are two people like hanging out and all this stuff and getting to know each other and it's not like paul giamatti um that you're acting against he's he's, he's very good at um playing off of his partner I'm looking through his filmography now, and like, yeah. he has had so many incredible roles. Yeah, but th- I can't escape the feeling that he just feels under the radar. And maybe yeah. people think that I'm crazy Underrated. for this because like he's had tons of starring roles mm-hmm. that are incredible. And obviously, he won he won an Emmy for for um, uh, uh, for John Adams, but. It just feels like this moment now yeah. where appreciation is finally coalescing yeah. on just how cool he is. Yeah. So I want to talk about Giamatti, the man. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. I love the man. So it, first of all, uh, you mentioned before that after he won, was it the Critics' Choice Award? No, it was the Golden Globe. It was a Golden Globe. It was a Golden Globe. He brought, he was like, I'm hungry. He brought his Golden Globe to In-N-Out yeah. and ate with the Golden Globe with, on the table, yeah. that is the most baller thing you can do. Because you're not going to eat it. You're, you're not going to leave it in the car. Don't do that. No. Can't leave it in the car. Or maybe he was Ubering or whatever um, or taking a car somewhere. So, like, he's got to get out of the car. Um, and he can't leave his Golden Globe there. And you're not going to put it on the floor. <laughs> Don't put a Golden Globe on the floor. So where else can it go? The fucking table next to your uh, next to your fries and shake next to your fucking um animal style, animal style burger. burger like like that's where it goes and then it's all there was also like some some kind of nice this might be a reach but a nice parallel aspect he played a professor that in and out is by UCLA like literally right off the campus so it was just I don't know it's it, it's just a nice thing to even point out I don't it it makes no sense at all but um you can see how I got there <laughs> my favorite part about you know, Oscar season is is just now seeing yeah. the actors go out, do all these interviews. Yeah. And my favorite one, did you see Paul Giamatti talking about Planet of the Apes? No. Oh, fuck. No. It's so good. Rainy, do you happen to have this clip? Paul Giamatti talks about Planet of the Apes. I can do it, but I won't do it justice. While, while you pull that up, I, do, I, I, was, I thought you were going to bring up um, his... Uh, I think he was at the Emmys. Uh, for he might have been at the Emmys for Billions, and they were talking and they were asking him 
um, about the in and out picture. And the way he answered it was so cool. They were just like, oh, so how does it feel to be viral for such and such situation for in eating in and out? And he was like, well, I guess the next time I'll just eat it in the car. <laughs> like, what a good, good response. Very charming guy. Okay, I got it right here. I'll play. Yeah. So Paul Giamatti, uh, famously, not famously, he played an orangutan. That was the uh, oh. So he that was the uh, He played an orangutan in Planet of the Apes. And there's this, uh, they do these round tables. This is the Hollywood Reporter. So you've got uh, Coleman Domingo. You've got Mark Ruffalo. Uh, I think Robert Downey Jr. is here. Um, Andrew Scott. And the way that they love this man. Yeah. And just want to hear him tell his story. Yeah. Uh, but this this. Because he's, he's fucking Riz. That's Riz. He's, he's rizzing it. them. <laughs> he is rizzing them the fuck up. And they're all like, oh, my God, please, Mr. Giamatti, be my friend. And he's going to walk around. He's just like, oh, nice to meet you. And then walk away, go to, like, again, in and out uh, and do something cool. But he's not going to fucking hang out with you. But listen to this. Ape in Planet of the Apes <laughs> was... was if that had been it for me, I would be, I would die happy. Well, this is where I I'm couldn't kind of going, believe yeah. I was going to be able to play a talking orangutan. <laughs> and my agents were like, don't you want to be a, a human so they can see your face? And I was like, if you tell them I want to be a human, I'm going to burn the agency. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who wants to be the human? <laughs> no, that was a huge that fulfillment awesome. of a dream. Dude. I love it because he's been asked about this so many times. Mm. And everyone was like, Tell me about some of the shitty roles you've had to take right, over the years. Right. You were a talking monkey in a Tim Burton movie. And he's like, I'm sorry. No, actually, that was a dream come true. Yeah. And y'all are idiots. So here's what it fucking is, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what it is. The Everyone out here trying to be a movie star. Yeah. Paul Giamatti said, no, it's about the process. I want to be an actor. He's like, I want to be a fucking actor. I don't want to be a movie star. I want to be an actor. I want to be a talking monkey. Let me be a talking monkey. What Let did me you want to be when you were a yeah, kid? Yeah. Did you want to fucking collect your awards yeah. and, and get yeah. your money? Or fucking... did you want to be a talking exactly. monkey? Exactly. Because that's what it's about, baby. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Paul Giamatti. Right, right. I, oh, I want to make big blockbuster films. No, you want to be a director. What is the one that you want to be? Like, what, what actually drives the thing forward? What actually... Actually drives the medium forward. Paul Giamatti is gonna gonna win an Oscar for the holdovers, and yeah. he's gonna say thanks. But I already got to be a talking monkey. <laughs> yeah, I didn't need this. I, I already need, lived the dream. I, the joy, yeah. is in the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And absolutely. that is something that is so fucking hard to remember yeah. in any creative field. Yeah. You start it because you have this spark, right. and that spark is undeniable. It feels so good. You mm. want to make something. You str Then you get success. Yeah. And then, all of a sudden, success starts to drive what you do. Right. Paul Giamatti is pure. Yeah, he never let it. He never let it in the driver's seat. At he has all. remained pure yeah. for the last twenty years, yeah. our entire life. He is such a rarity. Right. He is, frankly, what I aspire to be. I am inspired by this man. Yeah, because, <laughs> like, you know, it. No, you're right. No, it, and it's not like, and I, I, I do like. I was gonna talk about like the punching bagness of Paul Giamatti and his career. Like, people do like punching down on him, but in general, like. Saying that you are inspired and want to be like Paul Giamatti, I feel like brings on an air of like, oh, why? Like, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, if you really look at what he's doing, he went from being a, you know, an Oscar nominated actor for um, Sideways to Big Fat Liar. Like, those weren't far apart. He didn't give a shit. Like, he was like, I don't, I don't need to, now that I'm in this prestigious lane i don't need to stay there if the role calls out to me i'm going to be in the role like if if this is what i want to do i'm gonna fucking do it i'm gonna be a fucking talk talking monkey <laughs> let's look at the the order i want to say big fat liar was first but he's certainly gone back and forth so in the 90s he was in uh i mean certainly his role in private parts as pig vomit was i, I don't even want to call it a breakout it wasn't his breakout but it was right. one of his first big roles uh, he had that part in The Truman Show, uh, Dr. Doolittle, Saving Private Ryan, uh, Man on the Moon, he was excellent in, uh, Milos Formas. Okay, and then back to back, he has Planet of the Apes, Big Fat Liar. That's so good, man. So funny. Um, afterwards is when he started his 
I, I would say like his indie resurgence. Yeah. So 2003 American Splendor. I want to say he was nominated for that. If not, God, that movie is so fucking excellent. Um, then you get into his uh, 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 work with Alexander Payne. So you yeah. have Sideways, uh, which is so fun. Really um, but you know, after that, he's just a dude that needs to work. Yeah. Uh, he's got some more Oscar bait movies like Cinderella Man, but he's also in Lady in the Water. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever see the movie Shoot 'em Up? Yes. I liked it. That movie fucking rips. It rips. It is a Clive Owen action uh, film with Paul Giamatti as a raving villain. Yeah. And uh, I. It's Looney Tunes as a shooting movie. Yeah. As like a like it's like yeah. John the way that it's, John yeah. Wick is is a karate movie with yeah. guns. Yeah. This is Looney Tunes with guns. Yeah. Everybody's doing something silly. I think there, he shoots. Clive somebody. Owen's always eating carrots. Yeah. Because he's Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Oh, he's always eating carrots. Uh, because he says that it makes his vision uh better. Or it's just like it's good for the eyes and so on so and so forth. That's why he's so accurate of a shot. Oh, I just remember the movie Win Win. I haven't seen that one. Oh, Tom McCarthy. Uh, it's about uh, wrestlers in high school. I I think Paul Giamatti is my favorite actor. Oh wow! I just like I'm realizing this in real time that every movie he's in is an absolute banger. Yeah. Damn. Damn. They told me about the he's little blue run. car, but no one said nothing about a little blue man. Yeah. He's got a rent. He's got a fucking run, man. Like, and then also go starting back to what I was saying before, or going back to what I was saying before, like. Every time, even if he, even if he is in a bad movie, it's still Paul Giamatti being <laughs> fantastic. He's gonna give you everything. Like it, it really, and he he is one of those actors that elevates the film that he's in. Where it's like, oh sure, this could be like a a, a lesser script or whatever. Like even in Turbo, like the the movie about a fast snail, he's great in it. What does he do in Turbo? I haven't seen I, Turbo. I, let me let me see what his actual role is. You were telling me that you uh you have fond memories of Fred Claus. Yeah. Who? I mean, this is years ago. Fuck. Is he Santa Claus in that? I, I don't. I, he might be Fred Claus. Is he? He's not the titular role. Oh, he's Santa. Claus. He is Santa Claus. I'm sorry. He's Santa Claus, and um, Vince Vaughn is his son. Who is Fred Claus? What is yeah, that yeah, yeah. Movie? So he is playing. It is just about like, um, it is about Santa's shitty kid, essentially, and him trying to be like, you're gonna have to take over the family business soon. And it's like, it's sweet. It's Paul Giamatti being Paul Giamatti, but as Santa Claus, or him being like a, a disappointed father. It's nice. Uh, we had uh, Ray Randy and Jonathan pull a bunch of Giamatti clips for us uh, because th watching him. Win awards, it's just a da GD delight. I'm sorry, it is not his son. It's his fucking brother. Jesus Christ. That's stupid. Yeah, it's, I, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I'm sure it's great. So we have all these clips here. Let's start. I just want to hear. I, I think part of why he's going to win <laughs> yeah. is because he's just been giving such delightful speeches, which speaks to the riz of it all. Uh he just is so damn charming. Yeah. It's also so rare to have, like, the best actor race has been a nightmare for the last 10 years. The, like, specifically best actor, everyone who's won, these are some ass performances. Mm -hmm. um, and there's something so nice about, like, it's not a biopic. It's not, you know, it's just some guy. Uh, just playing think, some weird fucking guy. You think he, he can beat Killian Murphy? I think he can. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, let's be clear. I love me some Killian. Yeah. And I think he is tremendous in yeah. Oppenheimer. Right. But it's Paul G. It's fucking PG. Let's watch baby. his acceptance speech. Oh, Paul. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. humility already. Yeah. So many stairs. Too many stairs. Oh, he's funny. My knees are shot. I'm telling you. <laughs> up and down all night. Standing up and sitting down all night. My knees. <laughs> I'm never going to be in John Wick 5 at this rate. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in. Surely this is the first time this award has been given uh, to an actor who has played a man who smells like fish. <laughs> thank you, Golden Gloves. <laughs> and thank you to Alexander Payne, Alexander the Great, who, for some mysterious reason, continues to have enormous faith in me, and why? I don't know why. 
uh, and Devine, Joy Randolph, Dominic Sessa, I love you very much, David Hemmingson, Focus Features, the entire cast and crew in Boston, Beantown. Listen Fantastic. To that yeah, Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, they love it. Uh, Injected in I want to say, <laughs> I love my beautiful girlfriend, Clara Wong. Why you bother with me, I don't know. Why? Uh, Clara and Wong, I guess tale. I want to give a shout out to my son, Samuel, who recently graduated from college. Yeah. Yeah. And he's. It's a movie about a teacher. He, uh, I play like a teacher a in it. Fucking My whole family, the teacher. It, it feels like he's all of so them. Going good back at He's so good teachers at talking. He's people. in the pocket too. He's in the Gotta pocket. He them. always like. They do a good a thing. It's a tough job. So this is for teachers as well. Puts Thanks guys. On Thank the you. End of the and then he thanks teachers. A little shout out to teachers. Shout out to teachers. Oh come on now, Paul. Dog, too uh, gracious. He mentioned his his girlfriend in that. I do you know about his girlfriend? But no, I, I don't know anything about her. I just know. So I I looked up because it's like oh, Paul Giamatti is like dating dating like he's got he's got a little baddie as girlfriend. Mm-hmm. She played so uh, billions. Your dad's favorite show. Uh, I did not watch it. I know what this is. <laughs> Paul Giamatti. Uh, his character has a dominatrix on the show. He like goes to get dominated, and the actress who plays his dominatrix is now his girlfriend. Love it, I love it. Paul, you dirty dog. Yeah, you dirty dog. He's like, what? That's so funny. What if at one point we just did it for real? <laughs> you know. But that means that like Paul was filming these scenes, mm-hmm. and. In between takes, she was like, yeah, this is the most charming man of all. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, it's hard. It's hard. I think that he fully pulled her. Like, I, I again, we, sorry, I got to take these headphones <laughs> off. Um, again, we keep on going back to Paul Giamatti as a punching bag where you see him with her and you're like, oh, wow, I can't believe that she is slumming it with Paul Giamatti but I if you watch any of his fucking interviews I mean yeah I feel like the way people talk about him I don't really know Paul Giamatti that well in that speech I was like wait he's hot why is everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. acting like he's not hot exactly <laughs> yeah oh my he's he's hot and he's a cool guy yeah he's fucking he's a swaggy dude like that they're like Again, like uh, you looking at these two people, everybody would be as people or people would be like, "How did he get her?" It's just like he f- fucking listen to her. the man, listen to him. He rizzed her up. <laughs> I don't right. even know if that's a term. Yeah. He has fucking riz. That's all it is. He's got the juice. He's got the fucking juice, man. He pulled and like literally, like we just watched that clip and we just all got seduced. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Killian Murphy, you may have the most beautiful bone structure and piercing blue eyes. Yeah. But you ain't got what Paul got. Man, oh my God. No, no. You can't hold a fucking lazy eye. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You give Killian a lazy eye. Oh my eye. God. Okay, so, so, so Paul's character in The Holdovers, he has, you know, he has uh, uh, the lazy eye. And, like, sometimes you're, like, they're, they're looking in different directions. And the character, uh, uh, Mr. Luddy, what the fuck is his name? Uh, oh, um, Tully. The, Tully, thank you. The kid, uh, Mr. Tully, he's like, he's like, you know, I never know. What, what eye am I supposed to look into? Mm. Which one? He's a very, like, uh, uh, he's, precocious. He's blunt and uh, piece of shit, yeah. yeah he's, a, he's a rabble rouser, yeah, as yeah, they yeah. say. And Paul, you know, gives him some sass of, like, you're not supposed to know. It keeps him guessing, right? And at the end, Paul makes kind of this, this gesture of love. It's, it's yeah. the final moment. It's moments of the movie made me fucking cry yeah because you finally like really see him you know you make a choice he makes a choice and he makes a big choice yeah and he comes out of the room but it's it's also like just hold, holding on it um just uh he also makes the choice to leave it behind and yes. actually move forward he, like it's just like now that i have broken through and had and and made a friend let's say or like made like substantial growth with other people um and thinking about other people now i can finally leave this place behind yeah so. i know i super undersold it it's so it's, it's so a, it's be- a beautiful because it's moment. a history teacher yeah. who is literally stuck in the past yeah uh who is unable to connect with people and in this one really simple moment yeah. he 
learns to live in the present and, the f- and finally live for yeah, the future. Yeah. He learns to put someone above himself. Mm-hmm. He learns to care and to make sacrifices and to know when lying is the right thing. He he does something for someone else at his own expense because he cares about someone more than himself. Yeah. And he comes out of the room. It like fucking made me cry. Like just that moment. Like I was just like, ho- I saw it coming. Yeah. And I just went, this is beautiful. Yeah. I feel joy. <laughs> yeah. I, it was yeah. crying from joy. It is he, a joyful he, movie. And he walks out of the room. He looks to the kid. And he goes, it's this one. And he points to his eye. And he goes, this is the one you're supposed to look at. And then he leaves. And that's the end of, that's the like, end of their relationship. Fuck. And that's it. And it's like, that is so, it's like, he's like, I have finally, I'm letting you see me. Yeah. And I feel seen and yeah. we are connecting. Yeah. Like, just right. such a good visual yeah. metaphor. Yeah. Um, of like, just men being vulnerable and needing to be vulnerable. <laughs> like, I, um, there are, we, are. Are we just a sucker for, for broken men? Ye, I'm, we are. I'm a sucker for men being vulnerable in general. Have like, you seen Iron Claw yet? No, I can't. I haven't. Se- I, I want to see it with you. And I, I know Garrick has such a soft spot for brothers. Yeah, movies about brothers. I can't fucking do it, man. And I know that one of the. Oh, so Iron Claw is the new Zac Efron movie. Apparently, he's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. He's and always been good. I, he's always been a great actor. <laughs> this is one where like people are like, why is he not getting more buzz? Because yeah. holy shit, this movie is incredible. It's about it's a true story about this um this family of wrestlers and I think they all have tragedy befall them. I've also heard that they they rewrote it to make their story less sad <laughs> because mm. the real story of this. But anyway, one of the opening lines of the movie is his character going, "I used to be a brother." I can't. <laughs> no, fuck off. But no, no, <laughs> no. I I want to see I it with was you. Devastated by Onward. Fucking Pixar de- movie. This was a Pixar movie about ghouls and goblins and going on a quest. And the end of that movie broke me. You're telling me you want me to watch a live action movie about brothers and tragedy? Fuck you. Absolutely. No. No. I've had a pass. <laughs> pass. Thank you, though. Thank you for the suggestion, but no thanks. <laughs> Thank you for thinking of me, and, and I'm out. And good night. And <laughs> I'm out. And scene. I no fuck off. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um. So I, I'm gl- I'm happy for his success. Congratulations to him and Jeremy Allen White and having uh nice blue eyes. But yeah, you can uh, suck a dick. That's really <laughs> <right. laughs> All right. What's the next clip that we have? <laughs> Don't know word, huh? What do we got? What do we got? This is wine chugging scene for, from. Oh, uh, sideways, nice. dude! I because of sideways nice. and I couldn't and drink Merlot for the rest of my life. Oh, really? He has one line where he just goes, "Fuck Merlot." Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said they really liked it. First time I saw they this, really he's like, "Bless me." Huh. Yeah. They just couldn't figure out how to market it. He said it was a really tough call. He's aged well. I, he's yeah. he had a face where he's he was born to be uh, old. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, like you look at young, young, young so Giamatti, and you're like, "Well, it. yeah, but get to the I'm point." Sure yeah, <laughs> get, 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 up, get, get up there. to the point. Get like, up there. Call me in twenty years. Yeah. I think it's one of those unfortunate cases in the business right now, of a, a fabulous book with no home. The whole industry's gotten gutless. It's not about the quality. All right. of the I honestly, anymore. it's been it's so long since I've seen this movie. I have no memory of what's happening. But he's pissed. Yeah. He's at wine tasting, and I believe that his character has been scolding people about how you, uh, you swish, a, uh, you taste, and you spit. Special on the Syrah, by the case. And, yep, he's yeah. pounding. Hit me again. <laughs> uh oh. Excuse me. Could you just pour me a full glass? I'll pay for it, okay? This is a winery, not a bar. Oh. Just give me a full goddamn pour. Excuse me. Why don't you buy a bottle and go outside? He <laughs> just grabbed the bottle. I told you I need a drink, so I'm gonna help myself. Okay, pal? What do you think? Let go the fucking glass, fucker! Oh, oh my god. 
Is that the spit bucket? That's the spit bucket all over himself. Oh, 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 buddy. Oh, oh buddy. It's okay. okay. Get him out of here. Thanks a lot. It's okay. It's that yell that yeah. I can't get enough of. Yeah. Thanks a lot. You can't get up there. Uh, both actors that were in Spider-Man. Thomas A. in Church. Very fun. Yeah. Very fun. Sandman himself. Sandman and Rhino. Being in a movie together. I love it. Drinking wine. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. He's a fantastic. He's He, he just is a um, testament of going for it and the limits that you can actually reach if you just fucking believe in your ability. You know, if you you just kind of just let go and let yourself be um, the extremes of your personality. Oh, aye, aye, Captain, you got it. And if they want to drink Merlot, we're drinking Merlot. Oh, no, if anybody orders Merlot, I'm leaving. I am not drinking any fucking Merlot. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, Miles. Jesus, he makes, no Merlot. If you could pause yeah. it right there. Yeah. No, oh, that's oh. it. Okay, great. That's the clip. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, he makes yelling so yeah. fun. Yeah. And he's able to make big believable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his, his guttural yell isn't even that loud. I mean, like, it's not, his voice is a little bit too high pitched to be loud. So he can, like, be powerful without being, like, peaky on the volume scale. And it, like, and his version of peakiness starts to, like, I, I, this is a weird, like, vocal thing, but it's like a, 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 um, a throat it's like shake. It's a gl yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's like, ah, you know? <laughs> and, and that's not loud, but it is a tone that you get to when you strain your voice. And his vo vocal strain is fantastic. And, and I don't, you know, look, that that is a scene where with a lesser actor, yeah. him yelling, I will not, I'm, I'm yeah. not going to drink any fucking Merlot. Yeah. It's like, I can imagine a comedian doing that scene and it's fake and it's yeah. hokey. Yeah. But he grounds it always in. Yeah. In some, it just feels real because he's passionate. He's angry. I was. He, he does um uh, opinionated mm, really well. I think yeah, abs absolutely. He's just like I have this opinion. I'm not moving off of it. Um, everybody should be a history buff because <laughs> it tells us about the future. And Everyone because, should be into great wine because how could you not be? How could you not be? And fuck Merlot. Like like I, he like you just said. He does. He's a real person he's a real actor and he um brings to his performances a level of respect i guess for what he's playing and who he's playing as and like he's just like okay sure this is a an extreme character type an extreme character trait but i'm going to bring it to a place where you feel like this person exists this person absolutely exists. There's no way that a Paul Giamatti role isn't living somewhere in Hollywood, like like uh, like with Marty Wolf or whatever. It's just somebody who comes out blue, or um, like his character in Sideways. There's just like, yeah, this is an opinionated dude that likes to write books, who is pretentious, and who likes Merlot or who hates Merlot, and will scream at you. In the in the throat for it, you know. Well, speaking of Marty Wolf, let's see the man, the myth, yeah, the let's legend. Do it. Let's fucking because do it. I'm not kidding. I think he's so good in Big Fat Liar. He's fantastic in Big Fat Liar. It is even the scream, the scream at the fucking mirror, is... and the whole movie, the whole movie hinges on you hating this man, but yeah. really no, loving watching this man suffer. suffer. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, okay, sure, it's a. Uh, uh, Frankie Muniz movie. No, it's a Paul Giamatti movie. <laughs> yeah. And the success of this film is here is a monster, and the more he screams, the more I squeal in delight. Yeah. yeah. It's Paul Giamatti, he wakes up. It's showtime, Mr. Funny Bones. <laughs> Mr. Funny Bones. <laughs> you cute little monkey, you. God, he's committing so hard to something that is so he's stupid. Committed. You think that was in the script? Look out! No. Psh, 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 psh. Ow! Psh, psh, psh. Cut it out, Marty! Psh, psh. Hey, that kills, Marty! <laughs> I did that so much. My brother did that so much to me. The psh, 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 psh. We're not going to be able to play this song, uh, but you see Paul Giamatti dancing the hungry like a wolf. <laughs> Iconique.
Uh, because it's, it's I want when he wins the Oscar, Oscar, I want him to do this dance when he comes up on stage. Yeah, yeah. Just to show that he loved playing this role. Because <laughs> he absolutely did love it. There's no way. I would love to be a children's movie villain. That yeah. seems like the best role in Hollywood. Yeah. Everyone's always talking about how Jim Carrey sat in makeup for The Grinch. What about Paul Giamatti getting in blue paint? He was in blue for the rest of this movie. <laughs> so fucking good. <sighs> also, the scene where they get Mr. Funny Bones. And, and he's just fucking chasing them through the streets. Give me funny bones. <laughs> so good. He's good. He's the fucking, he's the best. He's the. I, I just want to thank him. Yeah. If, I, if I met him, I would just say thank you. Yeah. For how hard you've committed. Yeah, absolutely. Because I feel like people are more, um, I got to keep cool in my performances. Like even if we're talking about like Killian Murphy in. Oppenheimer, it's just like, yeah, it's, it's, it is very subtle, a lot of subtle acting, like you were saying before. But this feels like, oh, my God, I came from the drama club in high school. I was <laughs> on the stage. I have to play to the back of the room. It's, it's fantastic. I do feel like, yeah, we need to thank him. If, yeah, just really, really thinking about people that made a difference or actors that made a difference in my life, it would probably be like Will Smith, Paul Giamatti, <laughs> Jim Carrey. <laughs> that is a wild trio. I know. I it, it doesn't like. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. But it's those are like three people that I would have to like be as sincere as possible so that they can feel the sincerity coming off of me. It's just like, hey, man, I really appreciate what you do. I, if I meant, I just would be like, I don't think anyone understands how good you are. Yeah. Yeah. And like I don't know if that feels good to hear or not. Right. I don't right. know if that's a compliment or not. I just I I just need you to know that I see you. Yeah. Yes. I see you, Paul. Yeah. I don't even know what this episode is. I just I just want there to be a a, a public record. <laughs> yeah. Of of just of uh, of us being on the right side of history. Right. That's what this is. Yeah, I think that is. This isn't an episode. This is a, a, a this is a public statement. Yeah. Yeah, I just want <laughs> So that the record shows when when everything is done and dusted that we loved Paul Giamatti and we were correct. When all of the Giamattiites rise yep. from the sewers and take over the surface land, we need we need them well, to know. They'll know. When when society is has crumbled and we're all but dust. Yeah. When no one's here to remember us mm -hmm. and we have died and yeah. those we love have died and the internet is just a whisper of a memory. Yeah. There will be a hard drive somewhere. And within that hard drive, they will excavate and they will say, What did the world think of <laughs> Paul, Paul Giamatti? Giamatti. <laughs> yeah. The art, I mean, the obvious best actor on the planet. And the, and the future will know yeah. that Zach and Garrick, they thought he was pretty cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what a good sign off. Uh, you ready for some fun facts? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's I sent do them it. to your email. Hell yeah. I, oh uh, I haven't read these yet at all, so I am excited to learn about... Just Giamatti in general. Paul Giamatti is the subject of the Wax Paul Now campaign, which is a grassroots online, online campaign to get him a wax sculpture at Madame Tussauds. Yes. And there is a website. It Where's the website? www.waxpaulnow. Yep. I am going to the... Let's get GM. Okay, wow. Guys, you know what to fucking do. Yeah. Uh, you can provide action. There's a video here. We're going to watch this. Actually, Rainy, you should do it. Okay. Um, uh, Wax Paul Now trailer. This has 517 views. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's blow this thing up. Guys, we need to get a Paul Giamatti wax figure. Yeah. I, I, I think he deserves it. I've never been so... You've seen our movement grow. They're handing out flyers. <laughs> Who did this? It's a missing... You've taken a stand. <laughs> it, tweet, tweets with one like. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck is You've this You've agreed 100% that actor Paul Giamatti... Okay, I can read it. <laughs> yeah, there are dozens of tweets.
Oh my god. Oh wow, there's like a whole Okay, there's like a whole mini doc about this. I'm Did they do it? Oh my god. Wow. Wait. Was that, that him? Was that a shot of Paul Giamatti looking at a a a, whack, a very bad wax figure of Paul Giamatti? This was July 2021. That's him. That's him. That's him. Yo, that's how you know he's fucking cool. Yeah. They got Paul Giamatti. Who did this? Whose project is this? <laughs> I love them. I I feel like you ask. He seems like the per, the type of person that if you cold email, yeah. he'll like respond. And oh, be like, yeah, a thousand honest. percent. Okay, I need to know. So this was a fi- this was a movement, and then it was a film. Um, okay, I'm pulling up the press kit. I want to give credit where it's due. Val Baherta, Rebecca Shaw, Sophie Mann. Uh, they did this project as a bunch of friends. They've been. This is so funny. Good for him. Good, good for, for them, him. by the way. Good getting, for them. Good for good for him for saying yes. Good for them for getting him. And like that's just a beautiful moment of just like <laughs> saying, "Hey, Mr. Giamatti, we really want to get you a wax sculpture, and we're really trying to start a movement and shoot a doc about it. Would you mind being in it?" We've dedicated said, years to this bit of. Sort of making fun of you yeah. and deciding that you need a wax statue and becoming obsessed with you. Yeah. And we did it and the wax statue's bad. Will you cameo? Yes. <laughs> he said absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Without, without long, hesitation. It's like without hesitation. He probably sent back like a, yeah, a two-worded email. He was like, sure. Of course. <laughs> of course. I XO absolutely Paul. would do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> XO Paul. Actually, do you think we X- can get Paul on the pod? Yes. I think we could. I think if you directly, direct to camera ask, he'll come. I think he's about to be an Oscar winner. Yeah, that's going to be he tough. He might be, I don't know, he might be busy. Hey, Paul Giamatti, it's me, Zach. I think you're cool, and I think you're going to win an Oscar, and I think you deserve it. But you might not win an Oscar unless you get the proper momentum, which is why you should come hang out with us. Interesting, bitch. <laughs> I hope that works. I really, do, I really do pray that that works. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's, let's workshop this. What else can we do? Hey, Paul Giamatti. I bet you won't come on this show. I <laughs> dare you. I double dare you. See you soon. Or I won't. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think we could also clip with you being like, talking really sincerely about how you think he's the greatest actor of all time. Insert that in the middle, and then he'll be flattered and come on. Paul Giamatti! You want to go get some food? I'll pay. Chicken fingers on me, bro. In and out on you. Sure. He loves in and out. Well, I figured he already got his in and out. Now he wants chicken tendies. Okay, fair enough. Raising Cane's is down the street. Sure. TGI Fridays, whatever you want. <laughs> My card. I'm putting it on the table. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, sure. Paul. Paul, do you want to go to Applebee's? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to Chili's? <laughs> the app- The only Applebee's I know is quite a drive, so maybe we should pick somewhere else. Yeah. Where do you think he lives, though? Maybe it's by him. I think he's in New York. Oh. He's got that New York vibe. He seems like a New York guy. You think Paul's? You think, think Paul's he's... not living in Bel Air? Yeah, no, 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 no. I think Marty Wolf is, but I don't think Paul is. Now he must decide. Paul Giamatti rocks. Yeah, no, nah, we don't have to decide anything. He's fantastic. Uh, watch the holdovers it's when you get a really chance. It's just, really good. It's gonna make you feel good. It's um, it is. It's a, gonna make you feel fuzzy. It's gonna make you feel fuzzy. It is the most movie by the fireplace movie that I could think of. It is great. It is warm. It is a, a, a phenomenal ending and a nice, I don't, it's just a, a nice time. I was going to try to wax poetic there, but it's just it, nice. It's just one of those, they don't make them like this anymore movies. Yes. They, and, and very intentionally in the movie, it, it yeah. uh, you know, from the opening credit cards, it wants to look like it's ripped right out of the 70s. Yep. It, uh, it's it is on a film. S- shot on film. It's, it's a simple story but has layers that are just delightful to unfold yeah Yeah. uh it's on peacock a little free plug for them yeah go watch it please for Uh, the love of god please what did i text you i think it's like uh oppenheimer's on peacock yeah which someone was like this feels wrong (laughs) a movie like oppenheimer it's got to be hbo max yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) right (laughs) watching a great movie on peacock just feels kind of weird yeah it feels silly (laughs) Peacock is for television shows. It is for TV. What you doing? And the holdovers. Yeah. Anyway, um, 
Uh, he's at Paul Giamatti <laughs> on yep. uh, all the socials. I'm at Corn Diddy on all the things. I'm at Garrick Bernard on all the things. And until next time, cut all your toes. <laughs>